Oh, folks. That's right. I got my shit-eating cat that ate the canary grin going on today, guys. Now, for those of you that, have, that you know, sort of lurk on the StephenAveryCase.org website, you've already seen this, but for those of you that haven't, check this shit out. This is going to blow your mind. You see where it says evidence seized? You see what it says? They seized. They seized Teresa Hallbach's card. You see the date right there? What does that say, folks? That says November 3rd. Why would it say November 3rd of 2005 on an official court record of the evidence? Now, here's the thing, folks. I, uh, the reason why it took me so long to get this video out to you guys today is because I talked with a head court clerk, I talked with a former court clerk, and then I called up a judge buddy of mine and I confirmed with him. And while laws vary from state to state to state, there are certain things about court procedure and court protocol that remain static. They remain the same. And one of those things is that court records have to be meticulously kept because they are intended to be used as evidence in court. Interesting, don't you think? Now, the thing is, is that courts cannot record stuff that isn't true. So, here's my, here's my what the fuck when it comes to this. If it's written down as November 3rd in the court record, in the official summary of the investigation, then that means one of three things. Either one, the clerk fucked up and didn't do her job correctly. And I say her because nine times out of ten, the court clerks are female. Either the court clerk fucked up and didn't do her job correctly and it entered in the wrong date, which if she can't even get a fucking date right, what else is it correct? Number two, the car really was found and seized on November 3rd and was planted, was moved to the Avery property. Or number three, which kind of follows in line with that, this plays out that Colburn was looking at the plates on November 3rd. And this is a court record that bears that out. What the fuck? Folks, this shit right here, this one piece of paper, this is, this is a 17 page document, court document. This is a 17 page summary of the entire investigation. I'm still fucking working my way through this thing. But this one piece of paper, this one little Two inch fucking space on one sheet of paper completely blows the prosecution's case to shit. Because, yeah, you know, it's a possibility that it was an honest mistake on the court clerk's part, but most court clerks tend to stick in their job, their same positions for years on end, and it becomes second nature. So I'm willing to bet that the court clerk fucking up and entering in the wrong date. I'm, I'm, while it's possible, it's not very likely. So what does that leave us with, folks? That leaves us with the court. What the car was found and seized on November third, and was then moved to the Avery property. Now I'm going to finish going through this court record see what else I can find in here, and I will come back and bring you some more. In the meantime, new videos are being uploaded to cluetv.net, so head on over there, boogie on over. We still have our introductory rate going on of $3 per month. If you sign up within the next three weeks, you will lock in that $3 a month price for the next 12 months. So just, you know, as an FYI. And folks, those are my female viewers. I would like to give you a lovely little piece of information that's going to make you oh so happy. Daddy Raven, aka my husband, will now be hosting several shows on cluetv.net. So aren't you excited? All right, folks. 
I've got some more work to do today, so thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you soon.